Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm going to do a quick home chat. I'm going to finish off the Harry Potter chibi, which we started in the last one. So at least we're going to do as much as we can in around half an hour. So we were doing this one with um, Harry, Ron and Snape. So we are going to carry on with them. We are going to do their jumpers first. So, how are you? Um, oh, excuse me, just hitting that. Let's start with Ron. Uh, uh, is everybody okay? That's good. If you are, um, uh, what I would like to say is um, welcome to any new subscribers and thank you for coming back if you've been subscribed to me for a while. It's always good to have you all here. So, as you know, um, I've been taking a sort of a mini break. I've been putting odd videos up here and there, uh, mainly because of uh, my friend dying and my dog dying. Although she lived with my mum, she was my dog as well. And uh, yeah, uh, I just haven't felt up to it. Jennifer's kept me up a few nights as well, which hasn't helped. I'm gonna try and get back to uh, a bit more frequent uh, filming. I'm going to try and finish some of my, um, excuse me saying um all the time, that's just because I'm thinking, my first impressions, as I think I've got three of those to do, so I want to try and finish those soon, because that will be much, much, much goodness, that'll be good. Um, I haven't really used the items I need to do, other than some of them have been swatched, some of them haven't. So I really want to uh, have a go getting those done. So I've been doing a lot of reading. I have read so far this month, 30, so not this month, this year, we're only in February, 33 books. Now I used to read three or four books a week uh, before I had Jennifer. Of course, when you have a child, other things take precedence and you just don't get the time and that's what happened so um, it was all right when she was really young and then as she got older I sort of gave up because I just couldn't get much read I still read but not as much as I used to and then I found out that she although she likes to sit on my lap when she watches TV and I don't mind it's quite nice I can read on my phone or on my Kindle I use my phone a lot because obviously it's very small so I've been reading a lot of ebooks, which is great. Um, I don't mind reading ebooks at all. Obviously, I still buy um, physical books because I collect Marilyn ones, I collect ones on Jack the Ripper, ancient Egypt, and such. But I am now only uh, buying physical books if I'm going to be keeping it. So, uh, <clears throat> like uh, Stephen King, I'm reading all Stephen King's as part of a Stephen King read along. So I'm quite happy to buy Stephen King. Marilyn Monroe, obviously, I'm going to keep buying. And uh, the ones on Jack the Ripper, I, I got, uh, I've got two new ones to read and another one on the way. One arrived today. No, it arrived today, the one that I was thought I was with. I thought it was going to be a paperback and it was actually quite a chunky hardback. So I'm pleased with that uh, because I didn't think it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little small paperback. It's a lot, excuse me, but you're a lot bigger than I thought. So, some people have said they want me to talk about the books I read, so I will do separate videos. Um, what I'll do is, at the end of February, I will do a wrap-up of everything I've read in February, what I'm going to be reading for definite in March, or what I hope to be reading in March. And uh, if it turns out to be like an hour long, because I've read so much, what I might do is, I'm read if I'm reading three or four books a week, like I have been, I'll just do a weekly wrap-up on, on the, uh, Sunday night or something and that way we can uh, it make, won't make it so long I won't spend a long time talking about them but I'll just tell you basically what they're about and whether or not I really enjoyed them and what I thought about them obviously if I really enjoy something I'm definitely going to be uh, uh, reading it, uh, uh, explaining why, and going on a bit more about why I really enjoyed it. But that that just depends. I might not. It, it really just depends. So we will have to wait and see. 
I again haven't been watching much TV or films. I've just been pretty much watching YouTube, either because Jennifer wants to watch T-Rex Ranch, because she loves it, or one of her channels like that, she, and Coco Melon, which used to be ABC Kids TV. She loves Coco Melon. Or, yeah, or something like that. Sometimes she wants to watch um, CBBCs like uh, Peter Rabbit and Number of Blocks, Alpha Blocks, that sort of stuff. She, like, she does like them, but it's just because she really likes her her uh, T-Rex uh, ranch, so she really likes it, which is fine, I don't mind. It gets a bit weary after a while because she keeps saying this one, this one, then you put it on like, no, don't, no, no, not that one. And it's, it is the one she's pointed to, but she doesn't realise that uh, the thumbnail isn't the actual whole of the video, but that is okay. We will get there in the end. It's going to be a lot of grey now because I've got the um, the walls to do. Well, that's okay. But, uh, I have bought a few colouring books this month. Not as many as again last year, but I have bought a few. I'm trying to colour in as many of them as I can so that I'm not putting too many on the shelves. Obviously, there are going to be some going on the shelves because. I did have a bit of a break from colouring when I was getting over stuff because I didn't really feel up to colouring much. And I did a few patterns because they were just easy so I used the books I'd got. Fortunately for me though, Jade Tom hasn't brought any books out except for one this year so far, which I did get because it was one of their colour by numbers. Uh, but yeah, oh, I missed a bit of Snape there, I'll do that one after. Uh, yeah, so obviously I bought that one, but they haven't bought it much. Apparently they're hoping to bring stuff out in March, which is it's fine. It just saves me a bit of money. I mean, I could buy a few others. I did buy one that um, I wanted, I saw. It's quite, oh, I don't know whether I'll have colour in it or not. Um, I've got a lot like that. I will eventually. There's no right or wrong with art, is there? You just colour it in and I, it's hard to see where his arm is. It is this bit where I've coloured around Snape. It's just, it's, you can't see his hand because it's up behind his head. Very strange. I do like this book. There's some really good pictures in here. I hope to do some more of them. But then I say that about every book and I've got so many. It's so hard to colour more than one unless it's a pattern and they're really quick. So I've been watching, what have I been watching recently on YouTube? I've been watching um, I've Old Records, Recordology. Um, Steve Donoghue because I do enjoy his book videos. It's where I find some of the books I want to read. I have a notepad and when I'm watching them, if I see something I want, I just make a note of it. I think, ooh, that looks interesting. I might have to get that one. But I am quite capable of finding enough books of my own to want to read. I've got far too many interests and hobbies and stuff like that. It's terrible. I could read forever and still not read everything I wanted. There's just too much of it. But yeah, and uh, tonight I've been watching Hollywood Graveyard with Arthur Dark. His voice is so soothing. I like listening. It's quite weird because although he visits graves, I do quite like um, lying in bed listening to him if I can't sleep. Just listening to his voice, very soothing, it helps me get drowsy. But I do also enjoy the videos. So I was watching one today, which was the um, Disney legends disney disney um people and uh san francisco graves so of course they visited um he visited uh, they filmed at holy cross cemetery uh, which is where uh, baseball legend joe dimaggio is buried of course he was married to marilyn monroe and that always brings tears to my eye because they said that uh, the whole thing about him saying that uh, i'll finally get to see marilyn which is uh, always a quite breaking, uh, break your heart type thing to say. I finally get to see Marilyn is reported to have been his final words, so, or some of his final words, you know, so. Yeah, I, I always find, always brings a tear to my eye that does. I'm gonna move this packet of things to get here. So I'm just gonna do the ladle.
So that's it really, I've been working, reading, I've read some fiction, I've read some non-fiction, it's been really good. The only thing I would say is that if I was, um, I, I do good reads and I have a, a good read uh, target uh, for the, what's it called? challenge and the target I have is what well, as well as 75 but to be honest I have already read so many that I'm thinking I'm gonna have to up it at some point possibly in March I think I'm gonna to have to up it I'm gonna have to do this bit so I can get the uh, top in frame slightly so we're going to be doing the, that's that one and, that is, yeah that'll do. So yes, um, <laughs> excuse me, are you thinking, oh what am I thinking? I'm going to be doing the, um, yeah the reading challenge. I'm thinking that next month I'm likely to have to pop it up to, well it's on 75. Uh, possibly put it up to 100 it depends on how I read in March because um, I used to have a target of 100 but of course I wasn't hitting it so I got rid of that target and went with a different one and of course the different one was I dropped it to, to oh various things seven, 75 it is now I, and I didn't I had that last year and I didn't hit it last year so now I'm, I'm trying to do that again but we'll have to see if it works because I uh, it's at 75 and I'm on 33 so there's a good chance I'm gonna beat it now when I go up to bed tonight I will probably read uh, for about half an hour, now I'm reading a book on uh, Richard III and the Princess in the Tower. It's actually about the Princess in the Tower, but obviously you can't read about those without reading about Richard because he is an integral part of their story. So I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know whether he killed them or not. It was too long ago. I don't think we'll ever know 100%. I think it's just one of those things we will not know whether we want to or not it's like no it's like jack ripper no we'll never never know who he is and i'm re also reading a book on jack the ripper but it's not a fictional it's not a factual book it's a fictional book called Whitechapel rising and basically it's set in the modern day and some workers renovating a house in mayfair find a bricked up room which contains a mummified body and it's uh, jack the ripper so they still don't know his name uh, but he is surrounded by uh, newspaper clippings, map, maps of Whitechapel with pins in it, that sort of thing. So they can say, yeah, this is the guy that was known as Jack the Ripper. Um, but he's not actually dead. He's some kind of supernatural being. And he was incarcerated in this hole by Abilene, one of the real detectives, and somebody else. But in order to immobilise him and drain him of his power, they had to um, give him uh, gold handcuffs and put gold dust all over his face because that was the only thing that would immobilise this um, thing, this creature, this horrendous being who, like a vampire, feeds on blood but not, not by drinking it uh, in a way a vampire does. So I'm not very far into it. So at the moment they found him. He is now stalking the streets of London. He can't kill anybody to gain his energy back because he's got to find a certain object first. I'm not going to tell you much about it. I don't want to ruin the story. But so far I am enjoying it. There's not a lot of swearing. There is a bit of obviously violence and a little bit of gore. But not, not so bad that it's horrendous. I read these books like this and then if I think my mum might enjoy them. She likes a bit of horror and she read the whole of Barclay Street and enjoyed it apart from the people vomiting everywhere because she doesn't like sick. Um, but then I said it's horror, it's supposed to make you feel uncomfortable, it's supposed to make you not like parts of it and um, it worked. Just to try and get her to um, to read something other than historical romances, which is fair enough, she enjoys them so I, I like the cosy mystery so I've got some of those and she likes those as well and right now she says I don't care what it is I just want something to read so I'm just doing 
finding her stuff to read and hoping that we can you know that she enjoys what I find so at the moment I think she'll read this one that's the thing my mum is a voracious reader she's like myself it's where I get it from is from my mum and my dad because my dad used to be the same he used to read loads he used to read to us in bed at night I can remember him reading The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe to me at night and uh, I used to look forward to that I can even remember the, the cover of the book I can see it in my head um, so yeah, I've got a, a stack of books by my bed that I want to read uh, and then I can move some of the other unread ones from another, the other room into the room, that room so I can start reading them. And sometimes I sleep in the spare room because I like to read late and uh, especially if Paul's snoring, <laughs> which he does. Or if I'm colouring or if I want to watch TV late. It's like Thursday, there's football on it's tomorrow. You'll be seeing this Wednesday, hopefully, as long as the blinking video uploads, because, I don't know, for some reason it's taking forever. The, the special, I mean, the longer videos, but they do take a while, but they're taking, like, a, a whole day, and that shouldn't be happening. So, I don't know. They do get there in the end, though, so that's something. So I've got a bit of black I need to put on, like, oh, God, I'm not doing very well with this. Uh, yeah, so I'm enjoying my reading um, in a way I haven't for a very long time. So maybe taking that break off when I had Jennifer was a good thing. Because it's made me appreciate being able to to read. I mean, some books take me longer than ever. I mean, one of the books that took me a while was the Jean Harlow films, but the fil uh, Jean Harlow films. Now, I only finished that this month. I I've had it on the go since December. Whereas The Green Mile, I only started this month and I've read it already. Some things are not hard to read, but some things you don't want to read as fast as others. Pictures from the Abyss ago, I looked at it when I got it and I didn't go through it properly until this month. I've, I've finished it now. And you'll see all these uh, books on that I've read um, when I do my wrap up at the end of the month. Now with that, obviously a lot of them are Kindles and I will try to download pictures of the book covers for all the books I've read that I don't have physical copies for so I can put them in the the video. I haven't edited a video like that way in a very long time. The reason being is that these videos I just put them in, create a sprite and run it all together. You can't actually slip extra things in, at least I haven't found a way of doing that. Whereas obviously if I do it in pieces I can. Which is, which is fine and um, what I do is I, I string it together and then I look for where I watch it um, in edit mode and then as soon as I find a place to put a picture put a picture in it's not difficult it's just boring I find that sort of work tedious so I haven't really missed that and I don't have a big enough device to show you it on the screen I suppose I could use Paul's folio I might do that. That would save me having to do that bit of editing. <clears throat> but I've got so many of them. Um, I still might have to... I could... You know, there are ways around it. There are ways around it. I'll have to have a think about it. I could use this fire. Because the thing on my Kindle is the covers are going to be in black and white. Whereas in, obviously on the fire they would be in colour. I will have to have a look. I, I'll see how I, I feel. I might just do the editing I've done with it. Yeah, one of those things. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of um, stone here. So, I was just saying, I, think, I hope Jennifer likes reading as she gets older. That's why I want to have physical books in the house as well as reading on um, devices because I want her to know that it's normal. You know, reading is normal. And they'll see if she sees you reading a book, and she loves books anyway. She's got loads of them, and she just picks them up and has a look at them. And I read to her every night uh, when I put her to bed. I sit on the next to her and read the story. Uh, her story, and as she gets older, the stories will get more, a you know, better, you know, more complicated and longer rather than the small ones at the moment and the short ones. Um, but then it's, sometimes it's just that they like to hear your voice, isn't it? So. 
Mm. Ah, I've got a cup of tea here. <laughs> I don't know how much of this I'm going to get done because my battery's running out and I don't think I've got another battery. <clears throat> and I've lost one of my cables, so. <laughs> I'm also really tired tonight. I slept very well last night because Jennifer kept me up. Well, got me up very early Monday morning. Yeah, Monday morning. She got up at quarter past three. And that was it. Um, she said she was having, she was scared of the, the stars on her night light. I don't know why. She's had the same night light since, like, you know, she was born pretty much. Uh, but she said she didn't like it and she was scared. So she said she wanted to come and cuddle mummy. So I said, come on then, you come in with mummy. Took her in the spare room. I was going to get my black pen. Oh, took her in the spare room. Oh, now I'm flashing, so I'm going to have to go and see if I can find a battery. Okay, that's done. It, I, it was fine. Um, I do have one that's fully charged, which is great. Just going to fill in this bit here, which is still part of Snape. And um, Rom's trousers. I know it's still oh, it's going to run out soon, but look at that. But it doesn't really matter because you can always use like Sharpies and things because they're just black. Black is black. And Sharpies, you can buy the black ones quite cheaply. I got like a pack of five for one ninety nine. And the one's trousers down here, look. They might have been grey, but I'm going to do them black just to... There you go. Right, so I'm going to come up here and do this bit in a either lighter or darker colour. I'm going to get my greys here and have a look at what I've got. Uh, uh, I don't know. You know when you... Mm -mm. I got so many colours out, I just need to pop them back in, I won't be a sec. Don't really matter what order they go in, does it? Nah. Yeah, you just feel kind of a bit. some of the uh, the other bits but you know here we go carry on dear I've been reading quite a lot and some of it's box sets and they are only very short stories but I've been trying to read as much as I can so with the box set I just tend to read the whole lot just because it's on the Kindle uh, app and it's just so much easier I've got loads of books to listen to and I just don't at the moment I used to listen to them when I was lying in bed I just for some reason don't anymore I'm sure I will at some point because I, I got an audible membership I go through phases of wanting to listen to them and phases of when I don't it just depends on my mood I guess it's annoying because I'm still listening to Jodie Taylor's Time Police novel, the first one. Is it Hard Time? Do we in time? One of those. I don't know which one was the first one. And I've got them both. I haven't bought the physical copies, but uh, I'm sure I will, but at the moment I haven't. I'll probably get them in paperbacks, especially if they're the same size as the Chronicles, because they can sit on the shelf with those. There's some liquids there I need to uh, colour up. <laughs> that would be great because it's behind it and there's liquid in front so I don't know yeah I'll probably film Thursday like I said um, the uh, first impressions when Paul's 
about watching the football because I don't mind him watching the football he likes football I don't like it sometimes I sit and just read my book or colour and other times I'll come and film or I'll, I'll sit there with him for a bit depending on how much I want to film if I want a lot if I've got a lot of filming to do then I will just um, come straight over and do it but uh, like I said it, it, it does depend on how much I've got to do so I'm quite happy then so uh, yesterday, because she um, got me up so early, I was absolutely shattered. And to be fair to Paul, he was good as gold. He took her out for a walk in the afternoon down to the shop in the park. And I managed to go and get an hour before doing tea. And it did help. I felt a lot better. And I slept very well last night. And then I woke up today, which is Tuesday, when I'm filming this. I woke up feeling much, much better. I'm tired now, but much better. Which, of course, is, is brilliant. That's what you want. You want to wake up feeling great. You don't want to wake up feeling like, bleh. So, yeah. It's all good. So, I spoke to my older brother, Richard. Hello, if you're watching this one. Richard and Claire over in New Zealand. Good to see you. Good to see you. Well, good to speak to you anyway. And thanks for the videos and the pics. Yeah. So they're over in New Zealand, which has obviously got nice weather and no real restrictions. You lucky buggers, that's all I'm going to say. It's hard being stuck here, you can't do anything. And I know they're hoping that we'll come out of it soon, but uh, we'll wait and see. I mean, Boris Johnson has uh, set out the roadmap for England, but of course we're a devolved uh, nation in Wales. So our government is in, co in control of health, which is in some ways very good. But in other ways, you, you know, you're wondering what's going to happen uh, with this uh, roadmap out because they haven't set it out. I think they're very much more cautious than uh, the English government uh, with them lifting restrictions. Because like Boris, they don't want to have to put anything in place again. And Boris has said this is it. There's no going back. This is it. We're just going to have to live with it afterwards. But I think he's hoping that... Uh, most people by that point will be vaccinated in England, which is great. Um, now I'm still waiting for my call to be jabbed. I do have chronic asthma, but I'm obviously I'm not a huge risk. I'm not over, well. I'm overweight as well, but I'm not a, like of an age and don't have a very. I mean, asthma is serious enough, but I don't have. Uh, I haven't had cancer or chemotherapy or anything like that which they say they want those people done first people with COPD which is fine I don't have a problem I'm happy to wait my turn but you do wonder because it just seems to be all different in different areas which is fine it's how each individual health board does it they'll get to me at some point and I will just wait until they do so quite happy though it's, you know we, we are going to have to I think live with this virus whether or not we have uh, vaccinations and <coughs> a vaccine I don't think it's going away I do think it's it's going to stay with us maybe not as transmissible with the vaccine I don't know but it's one of those things I'm not going to go on about it because I don't want to talk about that we want to talk about great colouring things I mean March is going to be a great month because the states will finally get Fragile World, we get Luna, and we get, what's the other one coming out? Johanna Basswood's coming out. There are just loads of great books coming out soon. It's wonderful. I can't wait. I do like Johanna Basswood. The only book of hers I haven't actually got is the How to Draw, because I cannot draw to save my life. So I'm quite happy to just stick with the colouring. Because I do love my colouring. And... You know, that's fine. I know I'm not any good at drawing. Richard and Chris are very good at drawing. I can't draw to save my life. I'm good at other things. And, uh, yeah, I do enjoy other people's drawings and I appreciate them. And I do en I enjoy colouring them. So, yeah. Whether it's cute art like this Chibi or Johanna Basford. Kirby Roseanne is quite daunting, but I will be colouring in his new book soon. It, it might be the beginning of next month. It might be a <coughs> big project for the month. Like this month was um, uh, Fairy Such a Magic by uh, Clara Markova. Yes, I have got that book. You will be seeing it in my haul because it arrived 
uh, in February, right at the beginning actually. I ordered it in January but it came in February and I don't mind. But you will see it this month and you will see it, that it has been coloured in. Obviously if you're on my Instagram or you're in the Clara, Clara Markova group you, uh, on Facebook, the official one, you will have seen it. <coughs> Excuse me, because it is on there. But I don't mind that. That's just one of those things. But uh, we are at 30 minutes, guys. And I'm going to keep going for now. I almost didn't bother doing it tonight. I was thinking, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. And I thought, no, come on, let's have a colour. Let's, let's get this Harry Potter done so we can, you know, this was, uh, put it on the uh, new used pile. So, and um, new pile, but we've also coloured in it. So you'll see it twice at the end of the month. Let's get it, let's get it done. It's, it's a nice, fun book. You know, I've got lots of stuff upstairs. I like tomorrow. I, I might go to bed a bit earlier. I haven't tonight, obviously. I did yesterday. So tomorrow night, I'll probably go to bed earlier so that um, I'm more up to filming Thursday. But saying that, I will probably watch YouTube and colour a picture upstairs. I've got two upstairs <coughs> that I started this month, a pattern and a picture in the Yam Puff book, which I'm loving. I just haven't finished it, so I might crack on with that. Down here, I've got one pattern that I've barely started in a new book. And I've got one in the new Colour in Heaven magazine. You, of course, have seen a flip through this. I have put a flip through this book up, but I forgot to um, put it live. I forgot to publish it. It is now, of course, published. I published it yesterday. It should have been published before the first part went up, but I forgot. That's how much problem I'm having uploading some stuff. It takes so long. I'm going to try a different format, which seems to take forever to edit, but uploads quickly. And we'll see how it goes. But I'll uh, I'll do that because I'll be putting this to edit overnight when I go up to bed in a bit. So there we go. All these bits in. <laughs> and the weather's ever so funny. And like, I know that um, some people like, over in Texas, they've had it really bad, and I, my heart goes out to them. But here, it's just weird. I mean, like, Sunday, it hammered down. Yesterday, it was gorgeous. The sun was shining, it was warm. It, you know, it was like a really nice spring day for February. The temperature's above average. Today, it was it's 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 dull. It's spotting with rain. It's just bizarre. There's no sort of you know thing. I can't think what it is. There's no consistency to what the weather is doing it's all over the place so i don't know i'm down here but there you go I'm getting tired but it's nearly done there's not a lot to do now we got the smoke and the cauldron the ties their mouths and tongues eyes bottles that's about it really not a lot else we'll try and crack on and get it done that's why I colour so fast otherwise we'd be here forever now I know some of you wouldn't mind that and I know that the YouTube algorithm seems to like longer videos don't ask me why probably because I can get more ads on them <laughs> oh dear me, what a day. And I've still missed half the grey. Oh, and where's it gone? Which one was it? Oh god, I'm looking at it now to try it there. It's dolphin grey. in 
you know when you mess a bit and you're like I'm such an idiot usually it's when you've put it in and you've done something else and you look at it and you think hang on and then you're like oh what colour was it that I was doing this in that's usually what happens Payday Friday, it's always nice. Got some money over, so I should put some in my savings account. It's nice when you can do that, even if it's only a little bit. They do say payday is the best day to save, but I know that if I put money away on payday, by the end of the month, I'd be taking it out again. I do need to wash my hair. There's ties in there, there's a tie in there. In there. That's all the grey done. I'll put those away in a bit. Let's have a sip of tea. Let's get the a burgundy and a yellow for the ties. Ties time. Let's get the ties. Can we zoom in any further? Yes, we can. Not, not a lot. So we're just going to do. I know the ties are sort of burgundy stripes and yellow and kind of like my school tie was um maroon yellow and black yeah <laughs> god this is really hard doing these tiny stripes even with this little this uh this little nib thing Wow. There we go. Oh dear, there we go. <laughs> Let's get a honey melon lemon, whatever it is, colour. Honey yellow. Yep. I tell you what, I missed a stripe there, I did it the wrong one. That's all right. I do like playing Lego Harry Potter. I haven't played it for a while because I can never get near the TV because you know who the boss um, but I do like playing Lego Harry Potter and Lego Star Wars I like the Lego games I do oh, and I've got Lego Pirates of the Caribbean for the three so I've got all I've got one two three and a four I haven't got a five and I love 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 playing the Lego games I am not gonna lie about that why would I they are awesome I also like going on to YouTube, oh and Indiana Jones, that's a good one too, and uh, typing it in like Lego Indiana Jones or Lego Harry Potter and actually finding a, uh, a video of somebody playing the game. It's always great. Fun. Yeah, that one. It is great fun to uh, watch them, somebody playing the game. So you don't have to play it yourself. Like, for instance, I've watched all of the Star Wars games be played, all of the Indiana Jones. You know, if they, if they do the complete, complete thing. Uh, and it's it's great fun to watch. It really is good fun to watch. So I really enjoy watching them. But you know, I used to love watching my brothers play their computer games as well back in the day. I didn't like it when they played things like the first person games where you only see, say if they got a gun, you just see the gun, the front of the gun and you don't see anything else because they always make me feel Queasy. So, yeah. They make me feel a bit rough. I don't like them. It's just the way I am. I, I just, oh. They really, really make me feel sick. So, I'd rather not. I, mean, I, wa I have watched my brother play those and they do make me feel rotten so I tend not to oops 
because they do make me feel rough. That's a nice colour, isn't it? Magenta. Now I'll admit, I have no idea what colour Harry and Thingy Wots its eyes are cut are. I have no idea, so he's a redhead, so I'm gonna do his eyes green. And Harry could be any colour, so I don't know. I'm just doing them. It's not something I really pay much attention to. And I have read the books, but I don't know, so it may be that Harry's a green, but I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is colour of in and out for the best. <laughs> yes, I know that's not the way to do it. But hey, that's the way I do it. Hmm, no, not that colour. Hmm. Oh, no, that one won't go back in. I'll do this one. So I'm just going to do the candles with a bit of a glow around them. Like that. And then we'll use. Nope, too dark. Ooh, this one. What's that? Green tea. I have no idea. I'm just uh, grabbing them and seeing what uh, colour they come out. That's fine. And that's what I do. I'm not one of these people who plans out what colours I'm going to use. Although I might if, um, obviously it's a big project one, like the uh, Fairy Touch of Magic one. And even then I was like, as I got to that section, I was deciding what colours to use. Uh, but uh, for so, for instance, for the one in the Colour in Heaven magazine, Nova Fairies, I knew what colour I wanted to do the lily. So I'm doing Lily and Ladybird. Um, then I've got to say what colour dress to give the fairy. Do I make it similar to the lily? Or do I do it completely different? And the other thing is that um, I picked a picture with something on it that I don't like. And it's only been since I had Jennifer that I haven't liked this particular type of thing. And it's small holes. Or holes, not necessarily small holes, but holes closely packed together. This is called trypophobia, and if you think, oh no, that's the wrong one, I put that noise. You, if you think you might have that, don't go and Google it because it's horrendous. It really, believe me, it's some of the pictures are horrible, but it, it's it's, a, it's just a phobia of holes. So if you have crumpets, the UK crumpets, so you have the little holes on top. Uh uh, can't do it anymore. Can't eat them. Don't like them. Take them away. It's strange. And it's only since I was pregnant with Jennifer, it's one of those things that came on then. Um, leave the candles white. It's, it's closely packed holes. And there are closely packed circles on this picture and I can't look at them normally. Luckily I've been concentrating on what I'm doing, so I'm just going to get a black Sharpie and black out that part of the page so I can look at it. I'll probably bring one down tomorrow and do it tomorrow. It is awful. I absolutely hate it. It just makes my skin crawl. It really it makes my skin crawl. So, if of course, oh, there's some weird colour names in this set of pens, you know. What's that one? That one will do. If you really want to know what it is, go and, and Google trypophobia or phobia of holes and it will come up. It's a real condition. <coughs> it is just so bizarre. Like I said, I never really had it till Jennifer. I used to love crumpets, now I can't even look at them. Pick them up in the shop for Paul. But I can't eat them. It's such a strange thing. And like I said, it's only been since I got pregnant with Jennifer. And there were certain things I, I never liked. I never liked those big holes in the reservoirs where the water goes down. They've always freaked me out because I thought, well, if you got sucked down into it? It's the sort of thing I would think of. What well, if you got sucked down into it, eh? That'd be freaky, wouldn't it? Get sucked down into the hole? Yikes. I know there is liquid in here, but you can't see a lot of it. So it's just the bubbles popping up, you can see. Uh, yeah, so I just don't like it. It makes me... It puts my, my, sets my teeth on edge. It's one of just one of those things. There's sort all of like lots of holes, like there are these bubbles here, but there's only a couple of them, so that's fine. But if there was loads of them, I'd have to blank them out with black ink. 
why I think I'm going to have to with this fairy picture. I think that's why I haven't done anything on it for the last couple of days because I just can't bear looking at it. So, yeah, no, it's not nice. For me, it's not. Other people will be thinking you're really weird, but I'm not the only person. Paul's mother suffers from it as well, apparently. So, yeah, I'm in good company. I am in good company. So. Yeah, so do Google it. It's a, it's a real condition and it is very, very weird. I've missed that grey again there. It is, it's very... Um, and some of the pictures are quite nasty looking and you think, oh, real? that's not real, that cannot be real. And you think, please don't let that be real because it's so horrible. Oh, I keep picking up Storm and the Dolphin. Where's Dolphin gone? Um, that one. <sighs> keep missing bits. Nearly there. Yay! So I missed a bit there. Oh, shoot me. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I keep missing bits. And he also needs to have his wand done. will do. That's all done there. Okay. I'm really not doing very well on this, am I? That's the one I had. See, it's a bit here by Harry's face. It's behind him. And it's probably it's not the right colour, but it doesn't matter now. It's the colour I've done it. <laughs> yes, well. See, you just forget what the colours are that you're using sometimes. So I'm actually going to use neon yellow on this to make it look really freaky. And gloopy and horrible. Because I can. Because <laughs> I can do whatever colours I want. I never use neons. Well, very rarely. Unless I'm doing something like neon sign. Then, of course, I'd use it. So, do we do this bit? And then we'll do the smoke in the same colour. Let's get these bits in. There's a bit of his jumper I've missed as well. Oh dear me. Can't remember what, what colour I used on that. Was that the dolphin grey? Mm, no. Uh, let's have a look. Storm. Let's try Storm. I have no idea anymore. I have lost the plot now. And I've lost a piece where I said I'd oh I've missed a bit of his jumper now. Where was that? <laughs> Here. Oh, gosh, yeah, son. Yeah, I, I think I need to go to bed and not colour <laughs> ever, ever again. No, I will. I'm never going to stop colouring. I'm never going to stop it. I'm so glad I discovered this hobby. And I, I must admit, I, I think it was because of reading with pugs. Jen over at Reading with Pugs. She started colouring. I thought, oh, I fancy a bit of that. I don't mind doing a bit of colouring. Because we used to colour when I worked at Yellow as well, Yellow Pages. So I thought, hmm. So I got a couple of colouring books. I really enjoyed it. You know, it's when I was back doing booktube. So I, I started buying a few colouring books here and there. And I still read loads at the time, but I was also colouring a lot. Not as much as I'm colouring now, obviously. Uh, but I still coloured a lot. It was just something different to do. I found it relaxing. It took my mind off of the day, if the day was a particularly stressful one. And that's why I like to do it. I, d I don't care what people think. Colouring is for everybody. It's for all ages. It's for whoever wants to colour. Uh, male or female can colour. It's just a way of expressing art, yourself in an art form. Like I used to take a lot of photographs. I used to do a lot of photography, which of course, it's very hard to do when you've got a three-year-old, two-year-old hanging onto your arm everywhere. And that's fine. I don't mind. I use my phone to take pictures. My other, the other day I was um, 
took some shopping up to my mum and dad and uh, was in the back garden and my dad said, can I say elderly look? Oh, come and see this. Have you got your camera? I said, well, I've got my phone camera. And there was a slow worm in their garden. <laughs> I haven't seen a slow worm in years. Just a little baby slow worm. So, I had I had the camera here that I'm using to film, my DSLR, I would have got in very close up with a close up lens. But obviously I didn't. And and that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that because I love my girl. She is my life. And when I go to bed in a minute, I'll check that she's all right, which she will be. She'll be sound asleep. I just go and you know, put my head around her door and make sure she's covered in case it's chilly in the night. And I'll uh, see about... And we've stopped. We've actually done 50 minutes now. So we need to get this done. We are very near the end, to be honest. It's only this and the writing, which I'm probably going to do in a very bright pink or orange or something. I mean, I used to take thousands of photographs every year, thousands, tens of thousands even. Even before I had digital, I would take a lot of film photographs. Um, I mean, I still take loads of photographs of Jennifer. I take photographs of my colouring. trying to put them all on my, in an album on my Facebook, but I've actually only done my loose PDFs. And I haven't done any of those this month. I don't think I will now. But, but that's okay. Sometimes, some months I will, and some months I won't. It's just what I feel like colouring. I, I don't say I'm going to colour in this, this and this. I may pull out books that I want to colour in and if I get to them, I get to them. But then I might think, I don't actually want to colour that, I want to colour this instead. So I'll do that. And that does happen and I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to feel guilty that I haven't coloured in every single book I've got. My idea is to get it, my hope is to get it down somewhat this year. Um, but if you book it, buying books every month like we do, whether it's because we want them or we want to show them, usually it's because I want them to colour in, and I do. I want to colour in every book I've ever bought. I still do. Even if it's a book I bought three years ago and I haven't coloured in, and I have got some like that. It's just for whatever reason, I've just not got round to it. Which is why I'm cutting down a bit on the books. I also want to start saving a bit more money every month. So, um, in order to do that, I need to, to cut down on the... The books like i said i've got money i can put money away this month so that's good now in march if i'm lucky i will get a bonus at the moment i'm planning on buying some ahuhu markers whichever the biggest set i can get in the uk so i need to have a look at that i mean i'm not worried about having 180 colors 120 is more than enough for me as long as i've got some skin tones and stuff you know I can manage. I can always, and even then, if not, I can always buy a set of skin tones like the uh, the touch touch new I've got, and I, I do like those. Yes, I tend to use the same one over and over again, so it's always going to be the one that runs out. But I do use the others for other things as well. So. I like it with that fuchsia, actually. Magenta it was called, wasn't it, not fuchsia. It was a beautiful colour for the writing, I think. Yeah, I think I will. Oh, there's another bit there. We'll just put that in yellow. Yeah, let's get that magenta out. It's a lovely colour. Fuchsia's a nice colour as well, but I think I used that down there. There's my, is that magenta? Yeah, I'm going to use the magenta on the writing because I think it's going to look quite bright up against that yellow yeah look at that so yeah enjoying this it is a great book you know i got to get the other one though i might get that one in next month which is the um chibi magical creatures there's so many books i want it's unfortunate for me I just love colouring and I love different things. There are certain books I won't buy because I'm not keen on the artwork, which is fair enough. 
I'm not going to name names because some people like certain artworks but I find that my tastes have changed and like years ago I wouldn't have wanted when I first started I wouldn't have wanted to colour something like this because I liked realistic looking portraits to colour now I still love doing realistic looking portraits but I also love doing these cute little chibi and kawaii pictures so don't ever think your tastes won't change. I used to love doing flowers. Now I still like doing them, but I'm not as keen. I still love the Johanna Basswoods, but I don't do them as much as perhaps I should. Um, I do want to do some more in Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I've only done one page in there. So I might do one of those next month. There's one of my, uh, I've already coloured in it, but hey, I still got a colour in it. I really hope everybody who, is there, is there anybody out there doing this um, 10 books to finish in 2021 challenge? If you are, how are you getting on? Because I could not do it. I'm, I haven't got a, a single book that I would want to colour in constantly for an entire year. Um, or that's close enough to be say, right, I've only got four pictures left. I can see where I've missed bits on the camera. But I can't really see it. You see where this white is here? And up here, because it's so bright and I've got the light directly above me, I know there's a bit down here I've missed. This bit here. It's really hard to see where you've missed it. But then that doesn't really matter. We've only got a little bit left to go and we are done. And I can go and get this edited for you. But yeah, so... Yeah, I do want to do one in Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I'm trying to do it in order, actually. So, maybe that's it. Maybe I, I, The thing with that is I know I'll never finish it if I don't do it in order. Because I'll just do all the pictures I like and then the rest of it, which is like too difficult or I'm not so keen on, I, and like the pages that are mostly writing, I won't do. So it's gone through a bit there because I've got the, 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 the pages of this. You, you see how much this, how thin this paper is. That is one reason why I do like the black backed. I know a lot of people don't because of the um, the fact that the pages curl and you can't get the book flat. But I actually like those because the markers, you can't see so much on the back. You can a bit, but not much. And I'm not worried about it going through. I know I can cover, cover up anything that goes through anyway. But we've only got a few letters left to do. And we are done. And I'm, I'm actually quite glad I'm nearly finished. I'm so tired. I'm really looking forward to getting into bed. Because that's one of the things I cannot do when uh, Jennifer's sitting on my lap is obviously I cannot colour. Believe me, I have tried. Right, there we go. We have finished our one from Harry Potter Chibi. Snape doesn't look coloured. He is. He's got a very light like, pink face. Um, it's called Skin White. There you are. You can see it there. But it doesn't show up very well. And there is our Harry Potter Chibi. I do hope you've enjoyed this two-part colour and chat. If you have, give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see me colour in next. I'm happy to oblige if I've got said book. Uh, if it's a book I'm thinking of getting, I'm happy to get it uh, quicker as well. I'll just pull it forward. So, yeah, I really enjoyed doing that one. And I'm definitely going to have to get the Magical Artifacts book as well. And I don't have any of the proper Harry Potter books, but I may well get one. I may. So let me know what you want me to colour in next. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye now.